Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to send or pay with USDT on BitMart. So the process is very simple. And after this video, you will know how to withdraw your USDT or pay someone through USDT using your BitMart wallet. So the process is very simple. This is BitMart main page. And what you need to do is go right here at the top right, then go to overview. And here you will see your balance. And you will see the different wallets you have in my case i have my money at my spot wallet so i'm just gonna click here and then you will see your usdt you need to have some usdt of course and to pay someone to send money you need to click withdraw right here or you can also click this button now you need to select the coin you want to withdraw in my case it's usdt and you can select the withdraw method you can send through crypto network or you can send to another BitMart account using their email, phone, or BitMart ID. In this case, I'm going to show you how to do it through Crypto Network. Now you need to paste the address you want right here. For this video, I'm going to paste this example address and then select the network. There are different networks you can choose. So you need to make sure this address is from the right network because otherwise your balance can be lost so the most used one is this one which is the tron network but as you can see the address i just paced is not from this network so i'm, gen I'm gonna choose the correct one which is this one but you need to make sure you are choosing the right one so make sure to ask the owner of the address to prevent losing money now you need to choose the amount you want to withdraw the minimum you can see here it's 26 so let's say you want to withdraw 100 usdt then this will have a fee depending on the network in this case the ethereal network has a high fee but if you are using another one you can see the fee right here which is very low so now i could withdraw right here and then you will see the information about this order. Here you get a reminder to make sure that the address is correct and on the same network because the transaction can't be cancelled. So now you just need to click on confirm and your payment will be sent. In my case, I don't want to send any payment, so I will leave it like this, but that's basically the process. So I hope it was helpful and thanks for watching.